all honors and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakha Kadash. I'm going to give another double honors to the apostles and elders and great millstone who have taught me this truth and who rule well. Enough respect and salutations and blessings out there to the Akium who's pushing his work in sincerity and in truth. And um, I'm here with the lesson, um, just a little short end time uh, prophecy lesson. Um, because basically, the two thirds of our people they cannot see, especially they cannot see the times that we're in. We can see the different prophecies. <clears throat> so like, yeah. We can see the different prophecies getting ready to. I mean, basically, they're popping off already. It's popping up like, uh, like, like popcorn. You see them popping up from each, like everywhere around the world. We can see the upwards of the people. We can see the the the, the stress of the nations right now. We can see that this, this uh, that that ease, his his kingdom is coming down. This is the time of rejoicement. This is the time that everyone should be really be like really plowing down and and, and, and getting into the scriptures and, and, and really prophesying more. Um, I'm Lord willing, I'm gonna try to do at least more than I, I was doing one video a day or maybe every other other day, but. Now I'm gonna, it's gonna have to be a definitely everyday thing now. This is the most, this is the spirit that the most high has put me on. At least, I can do at least one video a day. I don't care what I'm doing in the days. And I, you know, I I, I hope that can go out to the, the other octum out there that's pushing the work in sincerity and truth. Because we're at a time that we're gonna need that hedge of protection around us. Lord willing, we are one of those men that, 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 that we are gonna be blessed that uh that uh Yahweh, he's not gonna see our sins he, he won't he'll, he'll forgive them he won't even remember them so let's let's go ahead and just jump into some scriptures this is the book of psalms chapter 32 and verse 6 and it reads for this shall everyone that is godly pray unto thee in a time when thou mayest be found Let's read that again. For this shall everyone <clears throat> that is godly pray unto thee in a time when thou mayest be found. So right now, this is the time that you should be seeking for the most. You should be really seeking diligent, diligently, really hard. But you can see our people, they don't want to look for them. They can't look for them. They are in such gross darkness. They cannot see it. There is so much darkness they cannot see it. All right. So therefore, when it comes to time when everything really starts to, when when uh, like you, when wit starts to hide itself, when when it comes to famine of the bread and all of that, and we, there ain't gonna be no type of word for any of them. They're gonna be done in that day. They are basically finished right now. But well, we can see the Lord is having mercy on them. To even try to even come back, but really, it's real. It's really ultimate, ulti ultimately up to the to the uh, hopeful elect. They're gonna wake up. They're gonna see the signs passing. They're gonna see the, the. They're gonna see and hear the words of the Most High. All right. So let's read on some more. And it reads, "Surely in the floods of great waters, they shall not come nigh unto Him." So when all the adversity and everything comes, when Esau comes in like a flood, when 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 everything is loud and chaos is all around, you're not gonna be able to come nigh unto the most high. Alright? <clears throat> Verse 7. And it reads, Thou art my hiding place. Thou shalt preserve me from, from trouble. Thou shalt compass me about with songs of deliverance, Salah. And what's the and what's the songs of the deliverance? This is this this scroll that we have. Let's go ahead and get that in um, ooh, um, I believe it's Revelations, Revelations fourteen. And I pull the scripture up all the time. I can never let's get that. I believe it's Revelations fourteen. This song a new song. Cause that's what we're piping out here in the, exactly. Uh, yeah, this is what we're piping out here in the streets. So this is Revelation 14 and 1. 
And I looked, and lo, a lamb stood on the on the Mount Sion, and with him a hundred and forty and four thousand, having his father's name written in their foreheads. And I heard a voice from heaven, as the voice of many waters, and as the voice of a great thunder. And I heard the voice of harpers harping with their harps. Verse 3. And they song as it were a new song before the throne and before the four beasts and the elders. And no man could learn that song but the hundred and forty and four thousand which were redeemed from the earth. These are they which were not defiled with women, for they are virgins. All right. And it, uh, that's going into the time of, uh, uh, um, they're not defiled with the, they're, they're not penetrated by the things of this world. The things of this world, it, it, it cannot come nigh unto them. Their mind is pure. They're as virgins. All right? And it reads on. These are they which follow the lamb whithersoever he goeth. These were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits unto the most high and to the lamb. And in their mouth was found no guile, for they are without fault before the throne of God. Right. So you can see right here in verse 7 when it says, uh, I read over again. Thou art my hiding place. Thou shalt preserve me from the trouble. This is the elect. Thou shalt compass me about with songs of deliverance. Selah. That's the songs of deliverance. This song, this 100, the 144,000 that's singing this song, they're piping it in the streets, on the videos, on social media, it's just everywhere. But you can see that uh, that E, he sees this. He's taking different brothers' pages down. He's taking brother different brothers' pages down. He's 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 basically trying to corrupt the whole system because he knows he has but a little. A uh, short time. He sees the different prophecies happening. He's in fear right now. I'm sure they're not even sleeping. The wicked is not sleeping at night. They're not sleeping good at night. They're up all night trying to figure out how can they can change this and change this. But everything that they change is all gonna come up upon their own head. All right. So let's turn and jump back into verse um, verse eight. I will instruct thee and teach thee in the way which thou shalt go. I will guide thee with mine eye. How are you going to guide? Uh, 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 what is that scripture? Um, Salakia, Salakia. Uh, it said his, 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 um, his eyes is 10,000 times brighter as the sun. So it's letting you know his angels. Angels going to help guide you. He's going to guide you. He's going to be that light in that day of all trouble. You're going to have help when, when Jacob's trouble comes, when everything happens, everything, all these different prophecies. You're going to need help. You got to keep the faith and in the, in, in, in the elect, the hopeful elect. They will have the guide. The guide will be the Most High. The Most High is going to send his messenger to guide you. That's going to be your eye. His eyes is 10,000 times brighter. All right? And the way he's going to teach you, teach you the way is by, this Holy, by the uh, Holy Spirit. Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai is going is to sup with you. He's going he's gonna to give and open up your mind and give you the understanding of what you need to eat. All, everything in this book. Um... here. Ezekiel chapter 2 verse 9. No, it's a lot here. I don't want to go up too much. Yeah, we're we'll just reading verse 9. And it reads, And when I looked, behold, a hand was sent unto me, and lo, a roll of a book was therein. So this book, it's, 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 it has the song of deliverance right here for the children of Israel. For the, uh, the elect of Israel. Alright? 
You have to eat the whole scroll. You can't just eat some of it. You have to eat the whole thing. Verse uh, 10. And he spread it before me, and it was written within and without. And there was Salakia. And there was written therein lamentations and mourning and woe. So it's letting you know this book is gonna come with a lot of lamentations and mourning and woe. This is all the uh, what all the prophets were seeing. All right. All throughout the book, you're going to see lamentations, mourning, and woe. The Israelites went through a lot of things. I didn't think I was about to jump this far now. Uh, yeah, a little bit more. Okay. And we are at um, verse 9. Be ye not as the horse or as the mule. Right? So you know how a horse and a mule can be very stubborn, have no understanding. Just, just stiff neck, as you see Israel. You understand? So the Lord is just telling you not to be as the horse or as the mule. The reason, which have no understanding, whose mouth must be held in with bit and bridle, lest they come near unto thee. Many sorrows shall be to the wicked. It's going to be to the wicked of Esau and all the way, all of his, his, his filthy uh, bloodline, all the other different heathens out there, and the wicked of the two thirds of Israel. They have something to pay for. <clears throat> Let's read that again. Many sorrows shall be to the wicked. But he that trusteth in the Lord, Yahweh, mercy shall compass him about. You're going to have mercy. You keep the faith and you trust on him and you fear him and you keep the faith. Mercy shall compass about you. You shall have a hedge of, of uh, protection around you. So this is verse 32 and 11. Salakia, verse 11, chapter 32. And it reads, Be glad in the Lord, Yahweh, and rejoice, ye righteous, and shout for joy, all ye that are upright in heart. So all the men, all the hopeful, like all the men that's pushing this truth, that's really sincere. These are the upright in heart, the elect, the hopeful elect, Salakia. The righteous, the ones that, man, he said, rejoice. Really, we need to rejoice because this is the time that this system is it's crumbling. We can see it, man. It's like right there. It's right in our face, man. But our people, the two-thirds of wicked, the heathen, they think their house is going to last forever. They think that this place is going to go on forever. But they don't even know history. What kingdom has ever survived forever? No kingdom on earth at until the time of, uh, of the kingdom of heaven. This is when, when Yahweh is reigning, this is when it's going to be ruled forever. Nothing's not going to change it. All the laws will be implemented in the earth. The earth will be replenished at that time. The city of righteousness, man. Oh, man. Woo. Can't wait. I can't wait. So this is uh, Ezekiel chapter 16 and 38. And it reads, And I will judge thee as women that break wedlock and shed blood are judged. And I will give thee blood and fury and jealousy. Right. Isn't the Israelites, the elect men, the men out there doing the work in sincerity and truth? We're doing the work in sincerity and truth. We're pushing the work. But for all the others that is of Israel, the wicked, the two-thirds, they are as a woman that broke wedlock. They for they have forsaken the covenant of the most high. They're out there that's shedding blood as just as the wicked. So therefore they have to be judged. They have to be judged. They're going to be judged by a whole lot of things that's coming onto this earth. 
So let's jump into the. Uh, Verse 32. Oh, I'll skip that one. Let's go to 38. But verse 32. But as a wife that committeth adultery, which taketh strangers instead of her husband, right? That's 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 uh, the elect. We we are uh, the, the the Lord's wife. But you have the wicked two thirds. They're out there committing adultery against the Most High. They're out there with the strangers instead of their with, with instead of their own husband, which is the most high. Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. They're playing the harlot. They're out there in the streets. They're doing every abominable act out there. They are so loose. This is the two-thirds of our people. So therefore they have to get judged. Then it goes down to here to verse 38. And it reads, And I will judge thee. As women that break wedlock and shed blood are judged, and I will give thee blood and fury and jealousy. Right. So let's go to the, the law in Leviticus. And it reads, what's going to happen when you commit adultery? And it reads, verse 10, well, Leviticus chapter 20, verse 10. And the man that committeth adultery with another man's wife, even he that committeth adultery with his neighbor's wife, the adulterer and the adulteress shall surely be put to death. How are you going to be judged? You're going to be put to death. As the scriptures say, he is going to judge thee as a woman that break wedlock and shed blood are judged. This is the law. You are an adulterer. You are going against the way of what the Most High has taught you, or has, has taught and has want you to be. You have fled. You have forsaken the covenant. You have been penetrated by all these other different things that are out there. So you can see that you don't want to return. You're having fun. So therefore, in order for shame, not to be, not shame, let's get to this. Where is it? I don't know. In order, there, there it is. In order for there is no wickedness among you, meaning amongst Israel, we, Zalakia, the Most High, have to put them to death. It's going to put them to death in a slow way. It's going to be a, an agatized, it's going to be ag agony. It's, I mean, let's, let's go up a little bit. It's going to be very... Yeah, right here. We'll start at 7. It's going to be very, like the scripture says, lamentations, mourning, and woe. All right? So let's, uh, let's, let's read um, Amos chapter 8 and verse 7. We'll start at 7. And it reads, The Lord Yahweh hath sworn by the excellency of Jacob, Surely I will never forget any of their works. Shall not the land tremble for this, and everyone mourn that dwelleth therein? It shall rise up wholly as a flood, and it shall cast out and drown as by the flood of Egypt. Verse 9, and it reads, And it shall come to pass in that day that Salakia saith the Lord, Yahweh, our power, that I will cause the sun to go down at noon, and I will darken the earth in the clear day. It's not what uh 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 Salakia. What that's let's just go to that. Let's get that. I'm, I'm, let's get that. I believe it's in Joel chapter two. Let's get that. Right here is the sad for the day. Let's get that again one more time. Right here, verse 9. And it shall come to pass in that day, saith the Lord, Yahweh, our power, that I will cause the sun to go down at noon, and I will darken the earth in the clear day. 
So let's get this in Joel chapter 2. We can see how it links up right here. Verse 2. It's a lot of Let's just read verse 1. Blow ye the trumpet in Zion. And this is what we're doing. We're blowing the trumpet, giving them the warning. What's about to happen? And sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble for the day of the Lord Yahweh cometh, for it is nigh at hand. And we can see it is nigh at hand. You can see the different prophecies. We are like at, it's like we're there, we are at that close. We should be looking up at the sky because our redemption draws nigh. The end is nigh at hand. We are there. Verse 2. A day of darkness and of gloominess, a day of clouds and of of, and of thick darkness, as the morning spread upon the mountains, a great people and a strong. There has not been ever the like, neither shall there be any more after it, even to the years of many generations. We're going to see many generations, man. This is going to be the worst time. So let's go to verse 10. Of oh, uh, Salakia. Amos, we're back in Amos chapter 8 and verse 10. And it reads, And I will turn your feasts into mourning, and all your songs into lamentation. And I will bring up sackcloth upon all loins, and baldness upon every head, and I will make it as the morning of, of an only son, and the end thereof as a bitter day. Jacob's trouble, man, are the people, the two-thirds that cannot see it. Where are they? They have no hedge of protection around them. They are finished. This is the judgment that's coming out, okay? This is uh, verse 11. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, Yahweh, our power, that I will send a famine in the land. All right? Not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord, Yahweh. So in this time, people are going to be looking for righteousness. People are going to be looking for, for, for the things that's going to make sense. But it's not going to matter. People are going to be all confused out of their mind. They're going to be running around like chickens with the head cut off. You can see how when the hurricane... Well, I'm, I'm in Florida. So we can see when the hurricanes hit Florida. We see how the people, uh, 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 they uprage just off something so... Something so small and so so minor of what's about to happen. They get mad, they fighting, pulling guns on people just because of gas. Imagine when the food is out. When the food is out, man, it's, it's gonna be it's gonna be hectic. So when the food is out, when it's nothing but tribulation, and guess what? And when there is nothing that will make sense, these people will lose their mind. All right, verse 12. And they shall wander from sea to sea, and from the north even to the east, they shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord Yahweh, and shall not find it. Why? Because they had the liberty right now before everything really kicks off to its highest momentum. They're not gonna make it. They're not gonna find it. They're not. It's, it's, it's gonna be out of the earth. Everything is gonna be out of the earth. So let's go here in uh, Second Ezra chapter five and verse eight. Let's see what else is gonna be going on. Verse eight, and it reads: There shall be a confusion, also in many places. Right, there's gonna be confusion. You're gonna be seeing all the uproars of the people, people fighting, shooting guns. 
No, the money's just going down. Nothing is going to go right. You're gonna see Jake getting killed, race wars, man, etc. Martial law is gonna be implemented. You're gonna see the RFID chip being mandatory. People going into FEMA camps, people not coming out of the FEMA camps. They're gonna be dying in the FEMA camps. People dying, getting their head chopped off, etc., etc. It's gonna be nothing but confusion. You can see, you can even look it up on, on YouTube, the different type of dreams that the, the, the Christian church people, they have. You can see it. They, they, they have different visions of, of, of how they, they go run to the church and they see the pastors. The pastors are shaking with fear. They don't even have the answers. And they said the people were going crazy. People are crying, children are hungry. Oh man, I seen the, I gotta put one of them videos up. The, that's Lord Willem. Later on, uh, after I get back from camp, later on tonight, I'll probably go ahead and I will put one up about that. Lord willing, I can remember. I have to, uh, I'm gonna have to write this down. But yeah, that those dreams, those videos, man, I seen some of them, and that is the spirit of the Most High. He put it on them for them to tell it from their Christian view. But for the elect, the hopeful elect, the men that see it, the men of the Lord, we can be able to discern what the dream is saying. It's parabolic. Only the spirit is gonna be able to see what this dream is saying. Just like all the other dreams that you see that's out here. Now, if it's coming from a brother, we already know what it's saying. Because he's going to be able to break it down even better. So let's read on some more. Verse 8 again. There shall be a confusion also in many places. And the fire shall be often sent out again. And the wild beasts shall change their places. Let you know. Now, at this time, you're going to have the wild beasts. Why are you thinking they're going to be in a jungle? Out there in the woods and stuff, you're going to be seeing them walking through the streets now. You're going to be seeing lions and leopards and everything in the streets. Now, they're going to be going out for the people now. Because if there's no food out there in the land and a, and a lot of other animals are dying out there, guess what? They coming for the real meat. They coming for the humans now. These so-called lions and big snakes. You're going to be seeing anacondas eating people. Come on, man. It's, it's going to get hectic. It's going to get wild. So it reads on. And mistress women shall bring forth monsters. We already know what that's talking about. Verse 9. And salt waters shall be found in the sweet. And we can see that 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 I mean that uh, we can uh, say that that uh, that's that's with the truth and the lies. The salt water shall be found in the sweet. So you'll be seeing some of the truth in with some of the lies. So now, therefore, the people cannot be able to uh, they're not going to be able to discern what is the true doctrine at that time, especially if they don't got it right now. The men of the true men of the Lord have the, the, the true salt. We have the true water. We have the true knowledge, the wisdom and understanding of what Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai has given unto the men from Apostle Tahar on down. And the certain other Israelite groups that teach as Great Millstone does. They reverence uh, Apostle Tahar as their elder. So let's go on. Let's read on some more. Uh, and, read, and read again at verse 9 at the top. And salt water shall be found in the sweet, and all friends shall destroy one another. Just the video of the lesson that I did yesterday, or, or really uh, late last night. And we can see that uh, in, in that video, I put uh, your, 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 your family and your friends, they're going to betray you. They are going to betray you. If they do not have this truth, it links up. You can see they are not going to stand up for you. You're going to see that they don't have the true love, what the Most High is saying that he has for his people. You're going to see they only have the love for you of the world. They just tell you they love you. But when it comes down to all, to the nitty gritty, they're not going to die for you. They're going to change their ways and they're going to, they're going to, they're going to betray you. Just as Judas did with uh, Yahweh Shai. 
You're gonna see it. It's gonna be constantly. You, you, people are not gonna be able to trust no one in that day. Only the brotherhood is gonna be able to trust the brothers because we're gonna know that they know the law, and that they are uh, like, and they and, and that they are searching for salvation, having mercy and hope. That's gonna be the bond, the faith. To keep pushing the endurance, the love for one each other. That's going to be what's going to get the brotherhood, the faith. The faith is what's going to get the brotherhood. It's going to keep you together, man. Just as the scripture says, wisdom and us, uh, uh, knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of thy times. You got, if, if you got another brother and he know the same thing, you know, y'all got the same truth. Y'all got the faith. You got the law in your in your, in your in your heart. You already know that, man. He gonna be with you for a little while. You never know. You may have a, you may have a brother with you the whole time through Jacob's trouble, or you may be by yourself. It's gonna get to a point where you're gonna be by yourself. All right. Let's read that again. And all friends shall destroy one another. Then shall wit hide itself. And understanding draw itself into his secret chamber. Woo! That wisdom, that knowledge of this world is going to be confounded in that day. No type of wit, no type of understanding is going to be able to be able to attain in the two-thirds of our people and to the heathen. Even Esau. His enchantments and everything, all the all the things that he do on the left hand side, it's not gonna work. It's all going to leave. It's all going to withdraw itself, and it's gonna go back to the Most High. So, verse ten, and shall be sought of many, and yet not be found. Talking about the elect. Then shall unrighteousness and incontency and contendency be multiplied upon earth. One land also shall ask another and say, Is righteousness that maketh a man righteous gone through thee? And it shall say, No. Just letting you know, no one's gonna be righteous. You're not going to see nobody trying to do the right thing in that day. Everybody's going to be for themselves. Why? Because they did not trust in Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. They trusted in Egypt. They, uh, they trusted in their oppression. They trusted in that's their God. They trusted in their money, their way of life. They thought that, that, that nothing was going to happen to them. This is how you're going to make the proud to cease. Proud will cease in that day. So this is uh, Ezekiel chapter 7 and verse 25. And it reads, Destruction cometh, and they shall seek peace, and there shall be none. Let's read that again. Verse 25. Destruction cometh. That's what you see the men of the Lord were doing on the highways and byways. What you see us putting up the different lessons day in and day out. You can see destruction is coming. You can see we putting up everything current right now. Everything is current. All into the prophecies. We can see that destruction is coming. But our people just can't see. And it reads on. And they shall seek peace and there shall be none. This is how the Most High's work. You're not gonna see no peace in that day. Once one bad thing happens, another thing happens. It's just gonna keep happening like a domino effect. So let's get that, uh, verse 26. And it reads, hmm. Mischief shall come upon mischief, and rumor shall be upon rumor. Then shall they seek a vision of the prophet, but the law shall perish from the priests and counsel from the ancients. When it says mischief come upon mischief, 
Let's go ahead and get that. And Amos 5 and gonna come upon mischief it's gonna keep coming keep coming and then guess what they're not gonna see any type of light so this is uh right here in uh, Amos chapter 5 and 18 it reads woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord to what end is it for you it's talking to the Christian church if anyone's from them Christian churches out there what end is it for you don't even have the names of the Most High and His Son in your forehead. So what, uh, Salakia, so what end is it for you? It reads on, the day of the Lord, Yahweh, is darkness and not light. Verse 19, as if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him or went into a house and leaned his hand on the wall and a serpent bit him shall not the day of the Lord Yahweh be darkness and not light even very dark and no brightness in it just letting you know it ain't gonna be no type of uh, light in that day You're gonna have the mischief upon mischief rumor upon rumor people gonna be looking for a sign they gonna be looking for the prophets but the law shall perish from the priests and the council from the ancients. Mm. Verse 27. The king shall mourn and the prince shall be clothed with a desolation and the hands of the people of the land shall be troubled. I will do unto them after their way and according to their desert, to their deserts will I judge them and they shall know that I am the Lord Yahweh. Everyone's gonna know in that day that they 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 right before the true men of the most high. We were out there giving them the warnings. Everything is gonna play in their mind. They're gonna be like, wow, those men was telling us the truth. Oh man, they're gonna know in that day that it was all of Yahweh. All confusion, all wit will lose its place. It ain't gonna be no more righteousness in the earth. You're gonna see people betraying each other. It's gonna be a bad time. A lot of killing, bodies on top of bodies. So we're gonna see, because our people just don't get it. So let's get this famous scripture, Zechariah chapter 13 and eight. This is for the two thirds of the wicked of our people. It reads, and it's Zechariah 13 and 8, and it reads, And it shall come to pass that in all the land, saith the Lord, Yahweh, two parts therein shall be cut off and die, but the third shall be left therein. The two parts are going to get cut off, Salakia. They're going to get cut off, and they're going to be up in between all the darkness. All the darkness. They're gonna get cut off and die, but the third shall be uh, left therein. Out of that third is gonna be the 144,000 that knew that song and the, and, the, uh, and, and, and the rest of the one third. The ones that believe and kept the faith and the ones that the Lord have had mercy on. He's gonna deliver them from the evil times ahead. Verse nine, and I will bring the third part through the fire and will refine them as silver is refined and will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name and I will hear them. I will say, it is my people and they shall say, the Lord Yahweh is my power. We shall see. We will see. And we're gonna call upon the name of the Most High and we're gonna say that Yahweh our Salakia, that Yahweh is our power. Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai. So let's go ahead and jump into the book of Matthew, chapter 24. 
we're going to start at verse 4. <clears throat> and Yahawashai answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, say, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And this is a whole lot of the Israelite groups that you see out there. They're coming in the name of 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 of, of uh, Christ, but then they're, they're they're trying to disguise it as Yahweh and they're deceiving many people. Here it is, the true men of the Lord. We're out here. We're giving the the the, the, uh, the works. We're giving the the true doctrine. But it seems like the people cannot see why, because they are deceived. Like the different Israelite groups, we already know. We already know who they are. They've been exposed. And it's going to be continually exposed. How is it that you have this many followers out there? I mean, subscribers out there. But we don't. We only see a couple videos of you. Like uh, a couple, a couple videos of you throughout the week. Where are you, 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 you're young. You're young in this truth. Compared to what Apostle Tahar and, 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 and the elders, they've been in this truth longer. How is it that you have all these subscribers out here, and guess what? They all want to follow you blindly because they like the different uh, videos that you put up. It's not really edifying. It's only you basically cursing out the white man. You getting on different brothers. You just teaching them that they're Israel, but you're not looking for the elect. It's all vain glory that you're doing, and that's all that's all that we see. And you're deceiving many people by it. There's a whole lot of Israelite groups out there. Verse 6. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. We can see that right now. What's going on with the different countries over there? On the other side of earth, on the on, Slavia, on the other side of earth, all on the eastern. You can see Russia, you can see China, you can see Turkey, India, Iran. Come on, man. This is the rumors of wars right now, man. Reads on. See that ye be not troubled, for these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. So he's letting us know the end is not yet, but we are at the door. He said, don't be troubled because these things have to happen. They have to happen. All right. Verse seven, for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom. So this is your race wars right here. And this is your kingdom against the kingdom. You'll see that. You see that right now. The race wars hasn't happened yet. But when it hits America, man, it's going to be bloody. It's going to be deadly. So much tension, you're gonna see it. Um, and it reads right here, and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. We can see the famines about to come very soon. You can look at the crops and everything, the pestilences, the diseases. They're trying to implement different vaccines, man. This is gonna get this. It's, the most high finna amp up this these prophecies, man. Things are about to amp up. 2020 may be the year, man. We don't, I don't know, I'm just, I'm just giving a theory, not saying that it, it is. But 2020, we're going to see a lot of things start to happen. 2019 has been, has been a year. I've never seen a year like this. And it's, it's swarmed by so fast. The months are, the time is speeding up. We almost into 2020 already. It seemed like it was just January a couple months ago. Verse 8. And it reads, All these are the beginning of sorrows. So you can see right now we are in the beginning of sorrows. Because things is going to it's going to kick off. I believe in 2020 we're going to see uh, 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 um, what's, what's the word? Lock it. We're going to see an increase of everything that we're talking about right now. It's going to be a definitely increase in the year of 2020. You're going to see even more Israelites even wake up, deceiving more people. You're going to see probably Esau start to probably come in and make the uh, the, the mark of the beast 
uh, the RFID chip, he's probably gonna start to make, he's gonna start to push it out more into the media to where the people are gonna have to start to accept it more. They're gonna start off with the celebrities and all that. We already know that. So it's all coming. Everything's coming to an end. This age is coming, this era is coming to an end. Verse nine, and it reads, then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. That's coming up, that's coming very soon. Verse 10, and then shall many be offended. Yeah, at this time, you're gonna see a lot of brothers gonna be offended. Many people are gonna be offended. Just as I said uh, in verse, it's gonna read some more in verse 10. It says, and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. Just like I did, I put on the video. You're gonna have your friends, your brethren, some of them in these, in, in these groups. Even some in Great Millstone. You're going to see some certain brothers, they're going to turn their back. Their, their faith isn't going to be at the top where it should be in that day. They will betray one another and some are going to hate you and they're going to see and see many will be offended. Many will be offended in that day. Verse 11. And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. What I was going into earlier. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. But he that shall endure until the end, the same shall be saved. As the Christian doctrine says, oh, you're saved. You repented and you, 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 you prayed the, the Lord's prayer you repented so you're saved they think it's that easy they really think it's that easy <laughs> wow let's read 13 again but he that shall endure unto the end endure coming from the word uh endurance you're gonna have to endure all the way until the end you're gonna have to have endurance until the end the only way you're going to have the endurance to the end is if the Most High put that spirit on you for you to make it to the end. You're going to, I mean, you're going to be of the elect in that day. This is how you're going to be saved. Verse 14. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. So we can see the end is coming. We can see uh, 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 that it's getting preached into all the different nations right now. It's, it's, it's going into different nations because of uh, YouTube. You can see it. So here's a little um, short little clip right here I'm going to play. Let me just go ahead and uh, uh, end it. Esau his wicked kingdom and to the heathen many people 
don't know the severity of what's about to happen, but hey, it's all according to the will of the Most High. So just keep praying, brothers, Akim out there, because we're heading to some serious times. Very serious times. We can see everything popping off at this very moment. So uh, hopefully everyone was edified from off this, uh, this video. Hopefully I didn't make it too long. I want to give another double honors to the apostles and elders in Great Millstone who taught me this truth. And I thank you for it. And enough respect and salutations and blessings out there to the auction, to the brothers who's really pushing this word in sincerity and in truth. So keep pushing, keep fighting, keep the faith. Don't give up. We're almost at the end. We can see the prophecy happen. We can see the prophecies happening. It's locked in. So this is the brother, Malakaya. Shalom.